Have you ever wondered why a pig would cry when taken by a shepherd? Picture this. A tranquil meadow, the gentle hum of nature, and a shepherd tending his flock of fluffy sheep. Out of nowhere, a curious piglet strays into this peaceful scene. Alarmed by the unexpected visitor, the shepherd decides to seize the piglet, intending to take it off to the butcher's shop. The piglet, sensing danger, starts to squeal and kick. A desperate bid for freedom. It's a far cry from the usual calm of the meadow. A stark contrast to the docile sheep who passively watches their shepherd carries the squirming piglet away. The sheep, so used to their shepherd's touch, find the piglet's reaction rather strange. They've been caught and led away many times, yet they've never felt the need to protest. The sheep, puzzled by the pig's reaction, decided to share their wisdom. The sheep, seasoned in the ways of the shepherd, spoke to the pig. The sheep, with a tone of wisdom and experience, began to share their perspective of the shepherd's actions. You see, friend, they began, the shepherd catches us regularly and drags us off, just as he has done with you. Yet we don't make a sound, we don't struggle or cry out. The sheep glanced at each other, their faces reflecting a shared understanding. They had come to accept the shepherd's actions as a part of their existence in the meadow. We've learned to trust the shepherd, they continued. He may take us away, but he always brings us back. We've learned to endure the temporary discomfort for the promise of a safe return. The sheep's words hung in the air, implying a sense of overreaction from the pig's part. They couldn't comprehend why the pig was making such a fuss. After all, they reasoned, wasn't the pig experiencing the same ordeal they had been through countless times? Their puzzled faces mirrored their confusion. They couldn't grasp the pig's panic, for they viewed the shepherd's actions through their own lens of experience. Confused and scared, the pig decided to explain his predicament to the sheep. His voice quivered as he prepared to share his story, a story that was vastly different from the one the sheep knew. The pig, now given a voice, responded to the sheep's unsolicited advice. The pig, in a tone both melancholic and defiant, explained, My friends, our circumstances are far from identical. You see, when the shepherd catches you, it's to relieve you of your woolly burden, a bit uncomfortable perhaps, but ultimately harmless. The wool grows back and you carry on grazing, basking in the sun and living your lives. The pig continued. However, when the shepherd seizes me, his intentions are far more sinister. He doesn't want a tuft of hair or a bit of discomfort. He wants my life. He's after the bacon, the ham, the pork chops. He's not interested in my well-being or my future. He sees me and he sees a meal. The pig's voice grew stronger, its plea more desperate. You're sheared, I'm slaughtered. You lose a coat, I lose everything. We aren't the same. It was a stark contrast, a harsh reality that was often overlooked in the meadow's peaceful facade. The shepherd's touch brings you a moment's discomfort, but for me it signifies the end, the end of mud baths, the end of rooting around in the fields, the end of everything I know and love. The pig's revelation left the sheep in silence, contemplating the pig's fate. As the pig's cries echoed in the meadow, a profound truth emerged. This tale of the pig and the sheep, seemingly stuck in the same predicament, unravels a deeper meaning. On the surface, they were both captured by the shepherd, both dragged off against their will. But the consequences they faced were worlds apart. For the sheep, it was a mere temporary discomfort, the loss of their wool. But for the pig, it was a matter of life and death, the prospect of becoming bacon. This story serves as a stark reminder of the danger of drawing parallels between two situations without comprehending their essence. The sheep saw the pig's fear as an overreaction because they failed to understand the gravity of the pig's situation. Next time you find yourself comparing your situation to someone else's, remember the pig and the sheep. Understanding is key.